Environmental and social justice advocates marched on the federal headquarters of the Environmental Protection Agency on Friday, March 30th, kicking off the National Occupation of Washington, D.C. campaign. Protesters called on the EPA to prioritize environmental protection and sustainability over corporate interests, safeguard the civil rights of agency employees, and protect whistleblowers from retaliation. Marsha Coleman Adebayo is a former EPA employee who won a federal discrimination lawsuit against the agency and helped to pass the first federal legislation protecting whistleblowers. As a former senior policy analyst for the EPA, she said she was silenced and reprimanded by the agency after calling for an investigation into allegations that a U.S. corporation's environmental practices were responsible for a number of deaths in South Africa. She helped organize Friday's action and currently leads a coalition that seeks to protect employees from abusive and discriminatory behavior. EPA is being targeted because it's one of the most racist and sexist um, agencies in the government, which means that the people's work is not getting done here. Uh, also, EPA is being targeted because this is the home of the No Fear Act, which is the first civil rights and whistleblower law. That law was brought forward by me and other EPA employees because we were not allowed to do our jobs here. Um, there was a conflict between corporate interests and the environment, and so the agency was forcing us to choose corporations over the people, and many of us decided to say enough is enough. As a result, many of us were fired from this agency, and we decided to continue to organize to make sure the American public understands how, how important environmental protection is. The EPA action is the first of several upcoming demonstrations targeting Washington, D.C. as part of what is being dubbed the American Spring. Other events, including a social forum, as well as an occupation of the Justice Department, have been planned in the coming weeks as activists seek to raise awareness and agitate for change in the capital of the government that they say is dominated by corporate interests. This is David Doherty with The Real News Network.